All right, so your exam, CSI net exam is, is like really, really close, just about one day to go. And I know you might be very nervous and uh, you have the right to be. See, if you have studied a lot, you will definitely be nervous because if you don't study, if you just go for the exam like that, you know, without any preparations, you do not have anything to regret because you know that you haven't uh, worked hard. So if you don't qualify, it's okay because you didn't study. And if you qualify, then it is a bonus, right? But if you used to work really hard towards something and then you have that situation that I have worked so hard and if I do not qualify, what is going to happen? And you tend to get nervous. So it's it's if you worked hard, definitely you're going to get nervous. And that is totally normal. Everybody gets nervous. I also get nervous when I work for something, uh, like when I work really hard for something. So, uh, and this will also happen with you that you might, you know, you might uh, think about remembering formulas and some, you, you will just go blank. You might think that you do not remember anything at all. This is also a very, very normal thing that happens with every, everyone, right? So do not get nervous. Do not get worried. Just now it's the time to relax. Okay. Just relax. Like I have told in my previous videos as well, uh, in this last day, you should not be studying at all just revising the formulas and that too for one, one and a half hours, not, not more than that, right? So just keep your calm, just be chilled, uh, chilled out, just hang out with your family, hang out with your friends and do not talk about studies, okay? So even if you have friends who are from chemistry and if someone tries to initiate a conversation with you regarding what all you have studied or what all you haven't studied, do not initiate such conversations because they will definitely tell you something which you haven't studied and then you'll get nervous unnecessarily right and in in the last moment you will start revising again and it just you know it, it just uh, makes you go off track and that should not happen so please kindly i request all of you that please do not discuss now as to what all you have prepared with your friends or with your family now is the time to relax and just uh, you know uh, you know just hope for the best pray to almighty if you are if you believe in religion and if you're atheist then definitely there's a higher energy, a higher power. So whatever it is, just have faith in something and just go for the exam, right? right? Now, uh, I just wanted to make this short video. I hope I, I'm able to finish this video under 10 minutes. I mean, that is what my uh, idea is to finish this video before 10 minutes. What I want to tell you is how to attempt the paper. So the, the way to go, go with the paper, okay? So first of all, I've seen everybody, whenever I go for the exam, Everybody starts going through all the questions, section A, section B, section Z, and they take 15 minutes, they go, go through the question paper and then they attempt the question. Now what, what happens is that once you're attempting that particular, once you're looking, going through the question paper, you'll definitely come across questions which you haven't studied. Okay, and suddenly what happens is section A is okay. Section B, sometimes there are tricky questions and section B questions are I mean, um, they, they are from a wide variety of topics. Okay, section C is comparatively easier. If you if you compare section B and C, section C is very is is quite easier than section B. So once you're going through the paper sequentially, you come across section B and you will get demoralized instantly because section B sometimes always you'll find tough. Section B you you will always find tough and you'll get demoralized and then by the time you are going through section C, you will be completely demoralized and you might think. I have worked so hard, but now again, I am not able to qualify. So the first thing you need to do is do not look at the whole paper, directly jump out, jump out to section C. Do not look at section B, do not look at section A. Once you get the paper, directly go to section C and start solving inorganic questions. So see, this is my, this, this thing works for me. If you think, if you think otherwise, if you think something else works for you and you can go ahead, but I, I want to tell you what my strategy is. And it might be useful to some 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 people some some of you, right? So section C inorganic. This is your first attempt. Section C inorganic. Attempt this first. Twenty five questions from uh, not twenty five twenty questions now, right? Twenty questions from section section C on inorganic chemistry will be there. Overall in section C there are sixty questions. So inorganic, like I have told every, every one of you that inorganic you have to prepare. So start with inorganic. Now the reason for that is first of all, inorganic is very scoring. The questions are direct and the questions are easy. This will boost your confidence. If you do section C inorganic first, it will boost your confidence to a very high level. Even if you are able to attempt 11 to 10 to 11 questions from 20 questions, 
directly you are getting 44 marks so you have you have reached half of the cutoff approximately half the cutoff of what is the GRF right it will boost your confidence immensely see if you get demodelized very soon even some questions which you know uh, which you know about or which you might have attempted you will not attempt because you are demodelized once you are very motivated right what happens is you will start looking at questions which or topics which you haven't studied also and you will find some sense or some logic in those questions as well this is what motivation does to you or inspiration does to you that once you are, you, you are motivated because you have done 11 12 questions from inorganic and now you are feeling confident then you will start to logically think about questions which you would not attempt in some other scenario right so this is what it does to you so section c inorganic you have to do first understood then you go for your physical section c physical for those of you who are doing inorganic and organic for them it is different for those who are doing inorganic and physical chemistry right for those of you who are doing just a second uh, okay so yeah for those of you who are doing inorganic and physical chemistry for them i'm telling then go for section c physical okay because these are four mark questions and these are very simple and direct questions there is not many tricks involved in, in such questions and they might be lengthy as well so you need to devote more time on section c physical and inorganic questions right and if you are able to do around 16 to 17 questions let's say you are able to do 10 questions from inorganic and 6 to 7 questions from physical that means you have done 16 to 17 questions 17 into 4 gives you about 34 and 68 68 marks 68 means you need to get another 42 marks right 42 marks you need to get to qualify for GRF and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the cutoff is going to be 110 that is on the higher side it, can, it, it, it will definitely be lower than this only this time it went higher than this 111 but it, got, it, it will not go higher than 110 so let's say the cutoff is going to be 110 so 68 you have got from section C now see what happens is you have a good mindset that you have done all the short short questions from section Z in organic and physical and now you have 68 marks in your hand. So now you need to get 142 marks or 40 marks from section A and section B. So that puts you under less of pressure. And one more thing only do first the short short questions like those topics that you have studied thoroughly and you know that this you will be able to attempt. Logical conclusions. See, in, in the, you go through the paper twice. When you go through the paper once, that is once you go through section C once, you always look for those questions which you definitely know. Like by looking at the question, you, you know that yes, you have studied this concept and you do not have to think a lot. You, you, you know the direct formula and you will attempt that question. So attempt those questions first from section C. Once you have done section C inorganic and section C physical, then you can go to section B inorganic and then section B physical and then if you have chance so then you do go for section B inorganic and then section B of physical okay then you do inorganic then you do physical so once you have done this then you again go through section C inorganic for the second time and see those questions which you might be able to attempt or see those questions from which you can eliminate two options right so i've done a video before this on uh, on some C on uh, its title secret trick to qualify the csr net exam so over there i have told you that how elimination works for you so then in the second attempt or on once you are going through the paper for the second time then you look at those questions uh, which from where you can eliminate two options for sure and then you look for those questions from section c in organic section c physical then again go from section B in inorganic and section B physical once you are done with that then what you need to do is you need to uh, then you need to go to section A if you have time so this is how you need to approach I'll tell you again for this is for inorga inorganic and physical students go through section C inorganic go through section C physical then go through section B inorganic, then go through section B physical with short short questions only which you are definitely sure of the answer. Then you go for organic questions 
there might be three or four questions definitely which you have studied since you are a chemist you would be knowing at least three four questions from organic chemistry as well even though it is not your specialization subject and you have been prepared for it then you again go through the paper a second time where you do questions which you are not very sure of or you can eliminate two options then you sorry yeah then you do questions from section c inorganic uh, i mean revision from section c inorganic section c physical then section b inorganic section b physical and then your uh, section a so this is the way to go for those who have, who have specialization in inorganic and physical or who are preparing for inorganic and physical now coming on to those who are pre preparing for organic and inorganic or organic and physical before that let me just check for the video right so i could not uh, complete the 10 minute mark i mean it went ahead of 10 minutes but anyway it's important because this also will help you a lot so if you are a uh, physical or physical and inorganic sorry if you are doing organic and physical or organic and inorganic for them it is a little different because organic questions are very tough so what you need to do is you need to do section c inorganic all the short short questions first followed by section b inorganic then what you do is section b organic now this there is a difference because the section b generally for in, inorganic and physical might be a little tough but for organic section b is always easy and what that does is once you have done section c inorganic and section b inorganic and section b inorganic or physical inorganic or physical whatever specialization you have then what happens is then you do section b organic see if you do section c inorganic then section c organic then you do section b inorganic and section b organic what that happens is there's a break in the continuity because organic chemistry requires that you need to go into that organic frame of mind okay i am not able to explain i mean how do i explain organic frame of mind i mean once you get into organic chemistry you need to think a lot you need to think from all you need to take take up all the reactions everything all the exceptions you need to get in that full organic mode so once you do section c organic first and then you go to section uh, b inorganic that mode gets broken so you need to be in the organic mode and to get into the organic mode section b will help you first so first you do section b organic you get in, get into that organic mode and then you attempt questions from section c organic again so what that will do is that will not break your continuity for organic organic questions because you did section b first section b questions are re relatively easy you got into the organic mode it is like kind of a warm up section b is kind of a warm up for section c and then once you are going through section c you are already warmed up and you will be able to attempt questions in a better manner because in section b itself you would have revised all the concepts that you have studied in organic so for uh, for organic for those of you who are focusing on or organic and physical and any one of the following physical or inorganic for them you need to do section c in uh, inorganic or physical then section b of that subject followed by section b organic and section c organic right so this is the way you need to go about and then you need to do section a so this is how you need to attempt the csi net paper like this work this is my my opinion like this is how you i think you should go but yes definitely if, if you think something else will work for you better you follow that it is not a generalized rule that you have to follow this way in in, in order to qualify for the exam this is my uh, opinion or my like out of experience out of uh, recent experience that i have had with lot of students i think this is the way to go right because i've seen students know the questions they know the the know the answers to the questions and yet they uh, get demoralized and they do not attempt that question okay and what happens is then they come back and then i'm discussing them discussing questions with them and then suddenly they tell me why didn't i attempt this question i mean this question i knew how to attempt this question i didn't even read that question and then they regret it so that should not happen to you and why did not they read that question because they were already demoralized once they went through the whole paper now they thought that they are not going to qualify or they they think that the paper is going to be very tough 
and you have inserted those topics so what that does is it demoralizes you so you you do not you know focus on questions logically and once you stop focusing on the questions logically you are not able to uh, find a logic or a answer to that question but later on once you are at home and once you are at peace and then you go through the question you suddenly realize that it was a very easy question even though you had not started that topic yet you could have attempted that particular question so that is very important that you do not get demoralized and you remain confident throughout the exam so if you do that you are definitely on the right track to qualify your CSI net exam and uh, for those of you who are from uh, like um, those of you who are from uh, Hyderabad I might uh, meet you in the exam in the CSI net exam right i am also giving the exam as well i in fact give all the entrance exams okay i don't worry i am not going to take your seat i do not attempt the uh, i do not attempt the question paper i mean i do not mark the right answers so i am not going to take your seat don't worry about that i just give it for the experience i love giving entrance exams and i totally give it for the experience nothing else so that so that so that i can help you better, better to qualify the exam right so I wish you all the very best and please do not study for the exam now. Just relax and chill. Okay. So all the very best.